Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing very very well. I know, I know. It's been a long time since I actually posted a video. It's been quite busy here. I had the exams coming and I know, I know. I actually didn't post anything. I actually did have a short break in between like around 10 days and I really don't know what I did with it. I just wanted to rest the whole time. So, oh, I really didn't do any of the youtube videos which really questions what i was actually doing but 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 on the brighter side i've gotten a lot active on instagram and if you're not following me there i'm going to leave the link of my instagram account in the description box below it's reshma ravindran rants reshma underscore ravindran underscore rants but i'm going to be leaving the link for you so you can follow me there So today we're going to talk about cost of living here in Canada as a student. Well, uh this idea was actually given to me by one of a subscriber or someone just commented below. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. Uh so even if you guys have any questions like that, you can probably comment down below. So if I think that I'm pretty good at it, I will be able to make a video for the same. so cost of living so uh, let's just make it clear that the landing expenses is a completely different aspect i'm not going to be talking about that right now because uh, uh, i'm just going to be talking about the cost of living like for every month here like the basic cost that a student might incur i'm not going to be talking about uh, you know the 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 landing costs or any other costs apart from that is this is this is just going to be the basic cost that you might face here in canada the first and major chunk of your money is going to go for the rent i know you would have watched a lot of youtube videos talking about ridiculous and cra crazy rents and it is true of course most of the money you make here even if you're going for part time jobs and everything most of the money that you make here is going to go for rents and it is painful but that's the reality here so the rents if you notice it completely depends upon your preferences uh, let's say you're going for a private room it's obviously going to cost you a lot more than when you're sharing it with someone else usually when students come uh, you know they will obviously have a roommate or summer like not like me so i actually i actually live in a, a private room and it obviously costs a little more so i'm going to uh, talk about the private rooms first then probably i can move on to the shared accommodations here so private room obviously it will cost a lot more like i said so it's going to be costing you uh, i pay 450 if you go but i'm not sure that all the apartments and all the houses over there are just going to charge you the same i know people who are paying 500 600 here in sarnia so it all depends upon the room that you get and whether it's furnished or unfurnished and whether you have uh, a, a space to keep stuff there or um, uh, it, you know it it all depends upon the people who live there it 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 has a lot of factors that come with it but let's just put a a budget of around 450 to 500 let's just say 500 okay you you're going for a, i don't want to uh, let's say you you can have a budget of 500 i don't want to go overboard so let's say 500 if it is a private room so then uh, moving on to the next one i don't know about basements probably basements are going to cost a little cheaper but i i personally don't prefer basements for a lot of reasons like it's pretty cold <laughs> so i really don't know i do, uh, there is a common notion like that but i'm not sure if all the basements are going to be there going to be the same but this is what i feel from what i've heard from people but i'm not sure that all the basements are going to be the same if it's like a really uh, you know uh, well built place i don't think it's going to be that cold so that's one uh, next up next cost that uh, you might be having is uh, obviously groceries 
so groceries if you see uh, you're not going to obviously you're not going to buy a lot of stuff it's just for one person uh, so if you're going to again share it with someone else i don't know how that really works because i haven't lived with anyone yet so uh, i'm i'm since i'm personally living alone i spend around 50 dollars a week for groceries which makes it 200 dollars a month for groceries so this is what i do so we have 450 and then we have 200 and then finally uh we have the yeah phone bill yeah that's that's again another cost that we all do so i opted for fido there are a lot of other uh, things there but let me talk about student friendly plans fido is a pretty good one i think there's kudo something like that you can obviously talk to uh, your uh, provider and they will actually suggest you with a good plan uh but again I will not suggest you going with something high end like uh, Rogers or Bell something like that obviously they they're going to be extremely high they're going to charge you a lot so uh, probably you can go with something like this Fido is, is is pretty good for me I I personally haven't faced any difficulty with the network so I don't know what's harm in taking a network like that so that's one okay yeah I wish Fido actually sponsored this video but unfortunately no one is the cell phone provider costs $50 if you are getting it without uh you know with it 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 will cost you around 45 to $50 that's the price but if it is only if you're getting it without the phone if you're getting it with the phone it should cost you somewhere around uh $70 to $100 depending upon the phone that you're opting for so that is uh, what it is so these are the three things that are going to you know are going to be your major uh spend expenditure here in uh, in canada i'm talking about sania uh, the the only thing that's going to change here if you are going to toronto or places like that is that rent rent is going to be a little more than that so i i said 500 maybe you can get something as 600 700 tell me a number it's it's actually going crazy uh, here uh, in toronto so it's it's really costly so that's there uh, so you can uh, apart from that you know the the cell phone provider you know they are going to charge you the same the groceries it's the same there's no difference only the rent there might be difference of a uh, $100 margin that is the only difference apart from that it's the same and uh, i don't think there's anything else so like uh, yeah so sania actually doesn't have a lot of entertainment sectors uh, but of course it has like a decent mall um, and all that Uh, so you don't really have a lot of expenditure there on the other hand when you come to uh, you know toronto obviously there are a lot of things to do here and now due to covid obviously there's like nothing <laughs> nothing doing we should all shut our mouths and sit at home so apart from that if i'm spending anything more there uh, in sania it's obviously obviously the food yeah so there are like very few places there in sania where you actually get good indian food so when i really really crave i i do try cooking at home and all that but then you actually want something really good uh, since i'm not a very great cook uh, so when i try to get that uh, there in sania obviously that is going to cost a lot it's not like in our country uh, food when you're getting it from outside it's pretty it's it's really costly it can you know uh it can go with, because there's tax that you will have to pay which is really 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 ridiculous the tax is like really high let's say you're getting something for like 15 dollars yeah that's the cost if you want to get a biryani or anything here so if let's say you're getting that the tax alone can take the total bill to, to more than 20 dollars so so now this is the real problem here so the tax can take it a little high and obviously when you're eating outside and all that when you're uh, getting some when you're ordering in food all this can cost a little more so let's just put another 50 dollar there if you're ordering like me like you know crazy uh, i order at least like at least at least the, the least amount i'm telling at least four five times uh, 
so that's like a lot because i think i should really cut down on them so this this it this itself is costing uh close to 50 80 dollars close to that so if i'm able to cut that down obviously i'm going to save a lot so so guys this is what the this is this is the actual uh expenditure here in sarnia and uh, again the same thing there in toronto the only difference i find uh, is that is the rent is obviously a little high in toronto uh, but that's it apart from that everything is same but i also noticed that uh, the the cost of the indian food in toronto is a little cheaper when compared to sarnia so that is the little difference here but apart from that everything is really great in sarnia uh, it's a very calm place and lovely place to uh, stay and toronto is like a hustle and bustle city where you can always feel like a lot home because there are not a lot of natives i don't know if there are any natives here in toronto because whenever uh, i go out of the house and like look around there are a lot of uh, things that there are a lot of uh, people who are like indians or maybe a lot of asians are there yeah that's what i've noticed but when you when you are in sarnia you actually get a lot of uh, exposure to the natives actually i mean the canadians so you meet a lot of them there so that is um, definitely a plus there you get a lot of exposure in sarnia when compared to uh, toronto that's what i feel so now i really don't know what's the math behind it so so we have uh, $500 for the rent and then we have $200 for groceries and then we have finally $50 for uh, mobile activations and your uh, your recharge and stuff like that so totally the, the cost i what i am telling is 750 let's say you're giving another $50 just so you uh, you know get something uh, apart from that like you know ordering in food or something like that let's put another 50 so it's going to cost you $800 if you are living alone like me in a private room uh, so if you're living with someone obviously the rent is going to be split between you two so it should be it should cost you around 300 350 this is this is what i hear from a lot of friends if you obviously you're sharing the room with someone you it's going to cost you a lot less 300 350 should be there so you know you're actually saving around 150 to 200 dollars which is really great if you're sharing the room so this is how it works uh, so this is pretty much it and if you are in uh, toronto obviously just put another hundred dollar over it that's it that's how it, it's going to work apart from that everything is going to be like the same and um, that's it so this is basically the cost i hope i have covered as much as possible here uh if you want to know more if you like please do let me know like what kind of videos you actually want to watch if you can comment down below I'm, i would be really happy to make videos like that so go ahead please comment down and while you're doing that don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. So please do do that. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Love you.